I'm back in the Bender Kitchen with Executive Chef Jim Calkins, owner of Seasonal Sweets and Catering, the only 100% nut-free catering business in Connecticut. That's great. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. So we're working on, this could be a great side dish for Thanksgiving, right? Absolutely. This is actually one of our Thanksgiving catering menus items. Um, this is our local acorn squash grown right here in Connecticut at Laurel Glen Farm in Shelton. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half. We're then going to make it with a vanilla bourbon glaze, Ooh. roasted right into the oven. Now, Jim, I'm kind of intimidated by this when I see it in the grocery store. I don't really know how to cut it. I don't know where to begin. Well, it can be a little awkward with the ridges. Yeah. So what you do is you want to find the ridges, the biggest ridges that you have, mm -hmm. and make sure that's down nice and flat. Okay. Then you take your knife, and you want to get the biggest knife that you do have. That way you can just cut it completely lengthwise mm -hmm. from the tip to tip. And we have one already pre-cut here okay. that we can show you. We have a cut right here. And this is what it looks like on the inside after we've scraped out all the seeds. You just take your large spoon and you want to scrape out all the insides. Okay. So with this, we preheat our oven to 375 degrees. Got it. You need a high heat to be able to roast it because it is quite a thick vegetable. Right, so it's going to get soft and sweet, right? Exactly. Okay. So what we do first, we take our brown sugar, just right on in. Now, Chef, are you finding a lot of people are having Thanksgiving dinner catered? Oh, well, we have a few catering <laughs> orders already, but I feel like it's the way to go. It's so it's, easy, right? It makes you guys it so much <laughs> easier, absolutely. But it's one of those things where you know friends and family they come through and. You want to be a part of that. Oh, so in order in to kitchen. be a part of that, you know, you can't be in the kitchen the whole time. Mm -hmm. Now next, we want to add our vanilla extract. That's okay. something that everybody has in their home. Very easy to find. And this is where it gets interesting. Is that the bourbon now? This is our bourbon. Okay. You can use any type of bourbon you'd like. Um, my personal preferences are, you know, for the higher end, but you can use the cheaper side as well because we're cooking with it. Okay. So how much was that? Just a... This a, is two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. And then we have equal amounts of brown sugar and maple syrup. You gotta use the local Connecticut maple syrup, of course. Oh, right. So I'm assuming the bourbon and the maple syrup, they just create a, a, a lovely they flavor combination. They create this combination. wonderful <laughs> combination. They pair so well, and the vanilla actually gives some great pairing as well. You know, Chef, if we put this on anything, it might be good. You could put this on <laughs> right? fish, too. Not, not just the, the, the squash here. And the best thing about this is you're going to have a little bit extra left over okay. so that you could actually have it and put it onto anything. You could even put it onto dessert ice cream. Ah. So you just give it a nice stir, and it's going to be a little grainy and a little thick. Mm -hmm. But that's what we want going in because we want to be able to coat it. So we take a nice brush, okay. and the first thing we do is we brush the entire side, because you want to make sure it gets all over the outside too. Makes sense. Now, would this be in half of the squash would be a serving, or? Um, well, you could have it as half a serving if, if you want to have it as you know one serving. Mm -hmm. But larger ones like this, yeah. Once they're fully baked, you can cut it and cut this and make four servings. Got it. So making sure it's all equally glazed, and then you want to actually throw it into the oven for roughly 20 minutes to roast. Now you don't have to prepare the pan or anything, you just put the nope, squash right in No, you do nothing to the okay. pan, you just put it right on in. So we're going to pretend like this has already come out of the oven. Very good. And we're going to actually, now once it comes out for the first 20 minutes, mm -hmm. you put the rest of your glaze inside. Ah, okay. Well, it must be really sweet when this comes out, right? This is a really sweet dish, but what makes it even better is we're going to turn it into almost a caramel. Okay by adding a little bit of butter. I feel like we're making dessert now, right? <laughs> this <laughs> this will get any kid to eat their vegetables, for That's sure. That's true. This is one of the things that I always ate as a kid mm -hmm. and really enjoyed, and now we're going to make it a an little bit version, better. An adult version, right? Almost an adult version. This sounds good. So we take this as is. All right. It's already been roasted for our 20 minutes, and we pop it back in for another 20 minutes into our oven. And my guess is that you already have some done. <laughs> Absolutely. We have one already pre-done. <laughs> Now, Chef, while you're bringing it out, uh, tell us how you how you have baked items as well uh, at your catering. We have some wonderful baked goods at our bakery cafe. Mm -hmm. We do a wonderful farm-to-table bakery items with gluten-free. We even have vegan items as well. 
We have some delicious cupcakes, cookies. We do some uh, wonderful scones and muffins as well. We use all local ingredients, local milk, local eggs inside of everything. All right, and these are done, right? So these are all fully done. Now these are typically pretty hot when they come out of the oven and they can be a little awkward. Okay. So I would always advise using either a set of tongs or maybe a set of tongs and a spatula to get it out mm -hmm. so that you can serve it. Oh, it looks great. Perfect for Thanksgiving. Chef, thank you oh, so absolutely. much for being here. Of course, we're going to have the recipe over on WTNH.com. Click on Style. And the name of your catering company again? Seasonal Sweets and Catering. We'll look for you. Right, we'll send things over to you. Well, thank you.